one you've been waiting on for a while? <laughs> uh, I say, I say, you know, I say I've been waiting on it, but you know, it's just the next game on schedule, so you know, got to get excited. But you know, definitely, definitely a little extra, a little, a little chip on my shoulder to play against these guys. Do you know a lot of players on your team? Uh, I know a few. I know a few of the guys played against a couple of them in high school. So, were you a Florida fan? Definitely a Florida fan growing up. You know, still, still am a Florida fan. You know, as long as we're not playing. You know, so I was definitely a Florida fan. You know, it's just it's gonna be exciting. Did they offer you a scholarship? It's the last minute, last minute. I already committed to Auburn, so you know, once I was committed to Auburn, I wouldn't change my mind. Were you tempted though? No. Uh, no, uh, talk talk with my mom, and my grandma, and I wasn't tempted at all. They <laughs> <laughs> tell you to keep your word. Yeah, keep my word. Got to keep my word. Sort of tell us what your mom and grandma would say to you if you. If, you... if I, uh, they'd probably say, "Well, Sharma, you know that's not right. You know, you, you tell somebody you do something, we taught you growing up that your word is your bond, and, and that's not right what you're doing to them. So you need to make sure what you're thinking about is the right decision." <laughs> Probably some along those lines. I don't think you got the tone right. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it, it been a lot more harsh than that. Yeah. I, I was out simplified. Well, as a Florida fan, and really, I, I, just the Auburn and Florida, you both, do you feel like y'all are in similar mindsets after the scores last last games that you're really kind of hungry for some? Well, I, I haven't really thought about that much, but you know, now that you say that, you know, I, I kind of say that, you know, we're probably in the same boat, you know, coming into this week, you know. Um, Got the same record, you know, both come off a tough loss. So I think both teams are going to be hungry and it's going to be a, it's going to be a 60 minute fight. I don't know how much film you looked at so far, but I mean, the two quarterbacks, I mean, what do you, what do you see there? Um, you see two young guys, you know, the, the coaches are definitely trying to work around the young guys, you know, calling plays, not trying to do too much, just a bunch of basic things, you know. Um, so, you know, I just trust the game plan that the coaches have and so, you know, you know, every game, you know, they, they do something that you haven't seen on film, you know, you know that's going to happen. So we're just, um, just going to do our best to get prepared, you know, what they're showing us on film. How much better have you got guys gotten on defense? Oh, uh, You know, our, our goal is, as a defense, is to become the most improved defense in the country by the time the end of the season comes. And I think every week we've taken steps forward. You know, despite the score of last week, there were some good things that we did on defense. You know, a lot of good things we did on defense. And we didn't do everything right, but for the most part, we took – a step forward, you know, to where we want to get by the end of the season. With the offense struggling a little bit right now, is there any mindset on the defense to, hey, we got to suck it up and take a little pressure off those guys so they get straightened out? Or? You know, um, as a team, you know, we have our ups and downs, but we just want to put a whole game together. You know, we want to play offense, defense, special team. You know, we just the whole team is clicking. I think we'll be a really good team, you know, real hard to beat, you know. but. Uh, I don't think there's no pressure. We don't feel no no extra pressure, or like we have to, you know, get a three and out every time. Or you know, we just go out there and play and have fun, you know. And we trust that offense. You know, we do our thing. Anytime we call on the field, you know, we we, we want to make a stop, and you know that's our job. So I don't think there's no extra pressure on us. Is the communication getting better out in the secondary between you guys? It definitely is, but that's just because we, we practice it. You know, when when you go on, on away games, communication has to be great. Home games. Has to be even better, you know, because the crowd is even louder here. Um, it's just something we practice, you know, in our, our, our habits, you know. It's, you know, coach always say it's just reflect practice, just reflection of our habits. So I think we've our habits of communication are a lot better, and then translate to the game. You know, Malzahn's calling a lot of different plays now because he wants to control the time possession and limit what you guys you guys don't need to be doing at the snaps game. Does that make a big difference when you guys are running 55 as opposed to 90? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> tell me how Definitely. big. Tell me how big the difference it, is. That that can be the difference in that can be the difference in a fourth down stop to win the game, a Mississippi State or a third down stop against Arkansas where they score, you know, the last third and twelve or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. You know, just you know, big difference maker. So you know, we definitely appreciate what he's doing and and we know we're gonna be out there. 50 snaps a game, that just makes you go hard in every play, you know, because you trust what they're doing on the other side of the ball. So it definitely makes a big difference.